boy, Kitty, you missed a great game. The Bucks made a last second shot and sent those Lakers home with their tails between their California fruitcake asses. <laughs> Go home, fruitcakes! I've never seen old Pastor Dave so excited. He swore at the referee. Son of a stitch. I said son of a stitch. Oh, well. I'm sure that fooled God. Hey, Dave. Celtics are in town tomorrow. You up for it? I'm in! Oh. Pastor Dave, tomorrow's Sunday. You have church on Sunday. Right, church. Church, right. Well, just get someone to sub for you. Every Sunday, I see six other guys up there in robes who only shake themselves awake when the wine comes out. Any one of them could do your job. Well, if God didn't want me to go to basketball, he wouldn't have made foam fingers so much fun. <laughs> Check it out. The hand of God is pointing at you. <laughs> okay, see you at church. <laughs> you know, on a personal note, I have an announcement to make. I have always found happiness in serving the good people of Point Place, but after talking to a dear friend, I realize the church is just not where the party is, if you know what I mean. So, I'm resigning as your pastor. Thanks to my friend, Red Foreman. Red, give the crowd a wave. Well, if you weren't going to hell before, you're going first class now. Go Bucks! Well, Mrs. Candiotti just told me to shove a very holy book in a very unholy place. <laughs> nice going, Brad. The whole church hates us now. Kitty, I had nothing to do with Dave leaving the church. You know... God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Let he who is without... Oh, can it. Well, the torch-carrying mom will be here any minute. Better turn on the light. They won't need a light. They've got torches. <laughs> Dave, what's with you? You don't just up and leave the church because I invited you to a basketball game on Sunday. Brad, you said it yourself. There are six guys who would take my place. No one would notice. Sit down, Dave. Let me tell you a little story about three bags of dog crap. <laughs> one on my front porch, one in my mailbox, and one in the back seat of my car. All from people who are so upset about losing you that they are willing to find, handle, and bag dog crap. Really? My congregation has turned to vandalism and petty harassment on account of me? I am truly blessed. And you're staying? Good. Now, come on. Let's celebrate by returning those bags to their rightful owner. Like it says in the Bible, as you sow, so shall you reap. Jesus was talking about love. It works for doggy-doo, I think. 